one of our first meetings of the Weiss Biotechnology Network, or in fact, the first meeting of the network was held here um, in, in Manila in conjunction with one of the major Weiss genetic congresses. Our meeting went first, took place here at Erie, and then we all moved into Manila for uh, the big Weiss genetics congress. And just before that congress, uh, Tanksley's group had published their molecular map in, in TAG, Theoretical and Applied Genetics. And the paper had come out, McCooch, and there were about three other names, and Tanksley, the way that most uh, U.S. papers come out with the students that do the work and then the, and then the um, lead professor's name at the, at the end. Um, in Asia, at least at that time, that usually wasn't the way the names came out on papers. It was usually the, the lead professor first uh, and then other people afterwards. Anyways, that paper came out in, in TAG, and the Cornell group had basically scooped the Japanese group because the Japanese group had not yet published their uh, genetic map. And I didn't realize at the time, but the, the Japanese really took that as a, as, as a bit of a, uh, almost an insult uh, because rice genetics was their field. And here was this uh, upstart group in the, in the U.S. that public, published the first uh, rice uh, molecular genetic map. And at this meeting here in Manila, um, the Tanksley map was going to be presented and was going to be presented by Susan McCooch. Um, I don't know if you know Susan, but very attractive, tall woman, at that time with hair that went down uh, almost uh, all the way down her, her back. And at this Rice Genetics Congress, at, at that particular time, it was really dominated by Japanese. Japanese were doing most of the work. So there were about 400 people in the audience, 300 Japanese, and then a, and then a few others. And I, I'm sure the Japanese uh, thought that the Makuch that appeared in this paper was the head professor at Cornell University, white hair uh, professor and the like. And so the, uh, the uh, moderator, the person who was running the session, uh, invited Dr. McCooch to come up and give this presentation of the paper that had already appeared and had scooped the Japanese. And Susan McCooch stood up and began walking up. And you could just hear this murmur across the McCooch, <laughs> and they just couldn't believe that this young, attractive woman uh, had scooped them. Not, you know, not only had they been scooped, but uh, they'd been scooped by a woman. Uh, and uh, that, that set off what actually turned out to be a, a, a very constructive competition between the, the Japanese. I mean, they, they reinvigorated their effort to get their, um, the, their map done and, and published. 